Hi, this is Boynton Stu, and today I'm going to show you my capacitive uh, charger to charge a uh, lead-acid automotive battery. And I just want to explain what I have here. There are two capacitors, only one is hooked up now. They're both 50 microfarad, 370 volts. The second one's a spare. There's my bridge rectifier. And so what happens is it goes directly from the timer to the power uh, wires. One wire goes to one side of the capacitor and the other wire goes to one side of the AC of the uh, rectifier bridge and of course the other side of the AC goes to the uh, rectifier and then DC comes out. And it comes out at quite a high voltage. However, it settles down. I give all and full credit to this to KD Man Auto, the guy who's done a wonderful job uh, reviewing the Tesla car. So, I'm, it's not working right now. I'm just going to flip the uh, circuit breaker to my power strip, and you can see it's just about an amp going in. It's about two amps coming out uh, uh, at the 12, 14 volt area. I've got 12.89. Uh, 12.90 volts across the two charging uh, clips and uh, uh, this is kind of cute. Um, this is a uh, timer that I got at a dollar store and if you notice it's only got one tab on it, a red one. Normally they come with a couple. The blue one turns it on and the red one turns it off. Uh, these two tabs are at different levels. If you take away the blue, that leaves the red. So when you turn it on manually, it'll crank around and until it turns it off. Just keep going around. So you could set it from one hour or a few minutes up to 24 hours. Once it goes past, I'll just flip it around and take a look at the meter. You can see there as it's going to click. It's going to click. Now it's off and now no more current. Now if I want to turn it on for another 24 hours I just click this and now we're running again and until it until it goes around once. So let's say I want to time it for five hours. I just set, set it away about five hours from the tab and we've got five hours. This is an AC adapter. I'm running an old old fluke meter Instead of the 9 volt battery, I've got it dedicated to this uh, 9 volt adapter. So there it is, and uh, it'll charge anything from 6 volts all the way up to uh, uh, all 100 volts or, or thereabouts. Now, this is kind of interesting. This battery I got for free. I've been treating it with uh, Epsom salts. When I first got it, it only had about 8 or 9 volts on it. Uh, here's my power switch. I'm going to turn it off. Let's see what happens. And it's going to settle down around uh, 12. It's 12.9 volts. It looks like a 4, but that's 9. It's going to settle down somewhere over to 12 and a half volts, which means it's about 50% uh, uh, charged. And I've let it sit out overnight, and it's uh, recovered. So I have living proof here that Epsom salts... Uh, will treat a battery and bring it back to life. Uh, I didn't treat every cell and when I when I found a weak cell I added three teaspoons of Epsom salts and that's all I did just dry Epsom salts through a funnel which is this one. So that's the story for today I hope you enjoyed it I think this is a really neat one-way switch timer and you don't have to go through a whole lot of effort to get it uh, I'm just tickled to death about this timer.